Hey everyone, I'm DT10 and in this video I'll be showing you how to build the Ruth Doctor's TARDIS in vanilla Minecraft. So before we get into this video, I'd just like to say that this video is separated into chapters so that if you'd like to only build a certain part of the tutorial, you can skip to it if you'd like to. However, there is also a bit at the end of this video which I haven't done in my previous tutorials where I explain a bit about my design choices and how you can change it in your own build. So if you'd like to see that, make sure to watch until the end of the video. Now let's get on with the tutorial. So this is the exterior that we will be building in this tutorial. So it fits the theme of all my other exteriors and is quite similar to my 9th and 10th Doctor's exterior, however with some alterations. And then as you walk in, this is the interior that we will be building in this tutorial. So this is the Ruth Doctor's TARDIS from the latest series of Doctor Who, originally from the episode Fugitive of the Dune, however chronologically it comes before the first Doctor, which is why these roundels are in place. As it's quite small to fit the classic theme, we will be building this in entire TARDIS in this video. So to start with, we're going to be building the exterior of this TARDIS. So first of all, with a command block in hand, you want to dig two blocks down, place this command block underneath you like that, and then inside you're going to put TP for teleport, at P, which is the nearest player, and then the coordinates of the entrance of your interior. So your coordinates won't look quite like mine, they can be whatever coordinates you choose. However, once you've done that, you just need to click done, place a lapis lazuli block on top with a polished blackstone pressure plate, then with your lapis again, build all the way round like this and raise it up by a further three blocks. Once you've done that you're going to fill in these four blocks here and you're going to place another lapis block like this with a dark oak door facing like that. You're then going to punch four holes in the side of this TARDIS like this and place iron bars in each of them. Next up you're going to put a block of white stained glass on top with blue carpet and then you're going to take dark oak signs and come to this left hand side block here. You're going to press enter once to put down a line and then in capital letters you're going to put police like that. On the second sign you're going to go one line down again and then you're going to write public on that line and call on the second. On the final side you're once again going to go to the second line and just write box in capital letters. Then finally dye all of the text of these signs white with white dye. I'm aware that you can't do this on bedrock edition so apologies for that. Once you've done that replicate it on all three sides. Then once you've done that, all you need is a birch sign. And on the first line, just like this, you're going to write police telephone. Then on the second line in capital letters, you're going to put free. On the second line, still in capital letters, you're going to put for use of. And then on the last line like this, you're going to put public. Click done and that is your exterior complete. Now, just to check when you walk into your TARDIS, it should teleport you to where you want to build your interior. So next up, we're going to be moving on to the interior. Now I can recommend setting your point at which you spawn in from your exterior one block above the ground. So I set mine to 102. So for starters, you're just going to come one block behind where you spawn in like this and place two holes like that. And inside them, you're going to put two command blocks. And these command blocks need to have the same command inside them, which is TP at P and then the exact coordinates of your exterior. Once you've written them, click done and place two black concrete blocks on top of them like that with with polished blackstone pressure plates on top like that. Once you've done that, all the way around these two pressure plates, you're just going to place black concrete blocks like that. You're then going to take these two up like that, and then finally, you're going to go two blocks across the top like that. Once you've done that, we're going to be building the floor of this entrance. So you need to go one, two, three, four, five, six like that, and then you need to go seven, eight, nine across like that. Once you've done that, you need to come out further one, two, three, four blocks like that, fill all of this in and then finally another two like that. Next, here and here you're going to place two sea lanterns with grey carpet on top of them. Finally for the floor of the entrance, just to help us later, we're going to place one, two, three grey concrete blocks like that. You're now going to turn to your blown blocks and this is where the placing of blocks gets a little bit more complicated. So first of all you need to choose any random block you want and go around the back of all of this like this. So this is what you should end up with. It should be four blocks tall and it should be behind everything. Now just to make it easier for ourselves in the future once again, you're just going to take two blocks off of the top like this, place one behind like that, then you're going to come to this block here and go one, two, three like that. Next up you're going to take your bone block and the reason we placed all of these blocks behind is because now what we can do is do this. You're just going to fill in all of these but you need to make sure the bone block has its top or bottom texture. You can't have them looking like this otherwise you don't get the roundel effect. 
do this for everywhere you've placed these blocks. You also need to extend this by three blocks up, which I definitely didn't forget. Once you've done that, it should look like this. However, just to finish these walls off, we need to come to this block here, build up like that, go four across, and then go four up as well. Then once you have this square, like we did over here, you just need to place upturned bone blocks on all of the blocks. This is almost your entry corridor complete. Now all you need to do is get your light grey concrete and you're just going to create a solid roof of light grey concrete. This is what it should look like once you've done that. We're now going to be moving on to the main interior of this TARDIS. However, first of all, we need to destroy these two rows here and replace this one with bone blocks but that are turned up like this. We then need to destroy these blocks here and just to make it easier in the future, we're going to break these ones too and replace them with polished blackstone but only up to there. You're just then going to fill in these two blocks and you're ready for the main interior. So firstly we're going to place another three polished blackstone blocks like this. This effectively marks the entrance to our interior. We're now going to get our grey concrete and we're going to go one, two, three like that but then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven like that. Next up we are going to come to the left hand side and we're going to go one, two, three like that, one, two, like that, one, one, two, one, one, two, three. Then you're going to repeat this on the other side like this. So one, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. You're then going to repeat this entire design on the other side. That is the basic shape of our floor complete. You're now going to need blackstone and you're going to come to this block here and you're going to go one, two, three, four, like that. Then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that. Next up, you're going to come another block out like that and then go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, all the way until you come to here like this. You're then going to go three across and then repeat the same pattern. Once you get to this point here, you're going to come to this middle block, one out from the edge, and you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, like that with your blackstone. You're then going to connect it up by placing two blocks there, and you're going to repeat this all the way on the other side. Once you've got this blackstone in place all the way around your TARDIS, you're going to come to this block here. And the way you can find it is by going one, two, three, four, five from the middle point there. You're going to extend it out by one block like that and then destroy this grey concrete and replace it with blackstone. Fill all of this middle bit in and then place another block on the outside like that. Repeat this on this side as well. Once you've got this in place, fill in all of the gaps with grey concrete. However, you need to leave the middle. The floor of your TARDIS should now look like this. Now you're going to need your grey concrete again, and you're just going to create a single line on the inside of all of the black stone like this. When you come to here, it doesn't matter what block you put on the inside, although I just like to put grey concrete, as it won't be showing in the TARDIS. And then just a few blocks down from there, once you come to here, you just need to place light grey concrete instead there, and then continue this and place light grey concrete on the same place on the other side as well. You need to do this on that side as well. This is what the floor of your TARDIS should look like with its new grey concrete rim. However, I made a bit of a mistake here with the placement of blackstone, however, it's really easily fixed. So all you need to do is just destroy this block here and this block here, and then place three blackstone across the middle like that, and then a single grey concrete in the middle like that. That is the design now fixed, and you can move on to the next part. So next up, you're going to need sea lanterns and light grey concrete, and for starters, you're going to place a sea lantern like that and a sea lantern like that and then a further sea lantern there 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 and there like that make sure that these four sea lanterns create a square and these two are directly centered with each other you're then going to need your light gray concrete and you're going to place one block either side of this sea lantern one block either side of this sea lantern three blocks across like that three blocks across like that and then one either side of these four sea lanterns as well your floor will now look like this and this is where it gets a little bit more complicated so next up you're going to need a new block and that is black concrete so first of all you're going to place one two three like that and then just go all the way around the edge of this however do not place it on the inside like that it just needs to be a single layer after that, you need another layer of light grey concrete. However, this time the edges do need to overlap. So instead of doing it like this as we have been, you need to do it like this. Repeat that all the way around. You should just be left with a diamond. And next up, you're just going to get black concrete once again. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
one, two, three, four, five with light grey concrete in the middle. And that is almost the floor of your roof TARDIS complete. However, now we need our sea lanterns and grey carpet once again. So all we're going to be doing is replacing a couple of blocks in this design with our light sources, which is what we are using here and here. And they are effectively just sea lanterns with grey carpet on top, as the grey carpet closely resembles the concrete and it gives off a really good light source. So first of all, you're going to come to this sea lantern here, and you're going to trace the blocks all the way out to this block at the edge, place a sea lantern and a grey carpet on top. Do this in that corner, that corner, and that corner. Now, that still isn't quite your floor complete. What we next need to do is get our blackstone, and just in these three blocks here, here, and here, you just need to fill them in with blackstone like that. And that is still not quite your floor complete. There are a couple more of these light sources that we need to place. However, it will make more sense to put them in later on in the build. We're now going to be building the console of this TARDIS. So first of all, you need to come to the direct middle and place a single block of quartz. With quartz slabs, you then need to place eight around the outside like this, creating a square. Once you've done that, get a single block of glass and place it in the middle, and then get two item frames and place them on the side facing the door. Next up, you need a particular type of map, and that is a map that is completely white. Now, for me, this was really, really easy, as I'm in a quartz world, so all I need to do was go to some random chunks which didn't have a village or anything in, and just make a map. However, for some of you, it may be a bit more difficult, so I apologise for that. However, this part is a bit optional. This is the decoration of the console, and in my opinion, it looks really, really good to do one with set blocks. However, like I say in all my tutorials, you can do it randomly if you want to. But I'm going to be showing you how to do my version. So first of all, with these white maps, you're going to place them in either item frame like that. You're then going to be getting a polished blackstone button and placing it like that. Make sure you place it like this so that you don't just rotate the map. You're then going to be getting redstone dust and placing it on this block here. Now, if you've already placed the buttons, in theory, it should just create a line. Next up, you're going to be needing a heavy weighted pressure plate and you're going to place it on this block here. And then you're going to place a lever facing like that. Next up, you need a redstone comparator and place it facing outwards on the middle block like this and press it once so the light turns on. Then you need a stone pressure plate here and finally another lever like that. This is the design of my console complete. We're now going to be moving on to the walls of this TARDIS and we're going to be doing them in the exact same way as this. So we're going to be placing a lot of blocks we won't actually see. So I've got grey concrete in my inventory here. However, you can use anything. Before that though, we're going to be coming back to these blackstone pillars we made earlier. So you're going to place an extra block on top of them like that. You're then going to get a polished blackstone slab and go slab, block, slab on top like that. And then finally, you're going to get two blocks on either side like that. This is your entrance complete. You're now going to get some bone blocks. And saying as you already have blocks here, or you should have from your roof, you're just going to go five across like that. You're then actually going to have to destroy these blocks here, whatever blocks you chose, and replace them with bone blocks like that, placing a block behind so you can place that edge one. And you're then going to do the same on this side. So you're going to place them up against this with a block placed there, and this is your entrance way complete. You're then going to need your polished blackstone again. You're just going to go one, two, three, four, five on the edge like that, and the same on the other side, one, two, three, four, five. This is the height of our TARDIS all the way around, so it's five blocks high, and we will come back to these pillars later. But all you need to do now is place upturned bone blocks all the way around your TARDIS. Now, a quick note, we will be adding details. There'll be a monitor here and there'll be another monitor here. So I prefer to put all of the bone blocks in place and then destroy them to create the monitors, which is what I'll be doing in this tutorial. However, if you'd like to see how to build them now so that you don't have to destroy any, skip to the time shown on screen now. So for the walls of this TARDIS, all bone blocks on this side will be facing like that. So that's all the way around like this. But then once you get to this middle part, They'll be facing like this and then once you get past on this side they'll all be facing inwards like that this is how we're going to be building the walls meaning you're going to be placing your blocks behind something along these lines so you're going to placing them like that you're then going to come out behind like this and behind like this and just keep continuing it until you filled it in all the way around and then you can raise it up by four blocks once you've got this in place all the way around your TARDIS, you can start filling in the bone blocks. So just a reminder, you're going to be placing them like this on all the way around on this side. But then on this side, you're going to be doing it the opposite way. So they're going to be facing inwards like this. 
for these two blocks here it's exactly the same these bone blocks also need to be put up by the full five blocks which is why we went all the way up by five for these bits as well so that is the basics of your walls complete however we're now going to be adding a little bit of detail so first of all on these blocks here you're going to instead tower up with bone blocks with that texture however you're going to be doing gray concrete in the middle like that and you're going to do the same on the other side once you've got that on both sides you're then going to turn to this side and first of all you're going to come to this set of blocks here and you're going to do a similar thing except without the gray concrete so you're just going to change the textures to that you're then going to destroy these ones as well and place polished blackstone instead you're then going to repeat this on the other side Next up, we're going to be working on this area here. So first of all, once again, you're going to need your bone blocks. And on either side of the blackstone pillars, you're just going to tower up so that you have this texture. Next up, with grey concrete, you're just going to extend the floor by one like this. And then with glass paint, you're going to go up one, two, three, all the way across. After that, you're going to get quartz slabs and go on top like that. And then finally, you're going to get quartz pillars and go on top of all of the quartz slabs like that. Once it looks like this, you're then going to be coming round to the other side and with quartz blocks you're first going to go like this and then you're going to go two out on the floor like this once that's done you're going to be filling in the walls as well so you're going to go two on either side like this once it looks like this then still with your quartz blocks you're going to be putting a back to it and then finally you're going to be putting two quartz blocks like that once it looks like that you're then going to take your redstone lamps and go one two three like that with a power source on top like that you're then going to come inside like this and what you're first going to be doing on the very edge here is placing three end rods like that you're going to do the same for this one here and you're going to do the same for this one here with oak fence you're then going to go one two three in between and that is this structure complete so if you break your way out of here it should look like this that is almost the walls of your TARDIS complete now we will be doing some monitors later on but first of all we're going to be doing the roof of this TARDIS So to start with, for this roof, you're going to need light grey concrete and you're going to come to these three blocks here or you can do it on the other side if you prefer. So you're first of all just going to go one, two, three, four, five like that and fill all of this in with grey concrete. Once you've got to here, however, you're going to go one block up like this. This is just to mark out where that happens. You're then going to repeat this on the other side. Once you've got this on both sides, you're then going to be doing the same for these faces here. So you're going to come to the middle three blocks and go five out like this, and then you're going to go one up like that. Once you've got this basic shape on all four sides, you're then going to come out by one block here and go one, two out, out by one block and go one, two out again, and then fill it in with one block in the middle. Repeat this on these three sides. Once you've got this central circle in place, fill in this, 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 and this with light gray concrete, making sure you only go up to the boundary of the circle like this. Now, while you're building this, if you'd like to save yourself a little bit of time, then leave a gap like this, as we will be filling this in with black concrete in a future step. Once you've got this for your roof, we're now going to start adding detail. We're now going to need black concrete. Now, if you did what I suggested in the last step, then you should have a gap all the way around your TARDIS, and we're now going to be filling this in with black concrete. Next up, you're going to be going to this block here and punching three holes like that, and you're going to do the same on the other side like this. This will come in handy later. You're then going to do the same here. You're going to go one, two, three, like that. And you're going to go one, two, three, like that. And then you're going to copy this bit, but on the other side here. So you're going to go one, two, three, like that. And then one, two, three, like that. Next up, you're actually going to be bringing this circle in by one. In fact, you're going to be bringing all of this in by one. So you need to bring this in and this in underneath because uh, I made a little bit of a mistake. I also made a couple of errors with these holes, sorry for the issues here, but um, these ones just need to be moved two blocks over like they are over here and replicate that on this side. These two are fine though. However, the complications are still not done. You see, this definitely doesn't look like the hole we originally had, and that's because after looking back over my design, it's a little bit different. This is actually too small. So what we need to do is extend it by one block here, extend it by one block here, extend it by one block here, and yep, yeah, extend it by one block on the last side as well. Once you've done that, you need to go one, two, three on the side like that, one, two, three on the side like that, and then one, two, three there, one, two, three there, one, two, three there, one, two, three there, 
and one, two, three there, and one, two, three there. Then just get rid of any excess bits you may have in the middle from previous designs like I have. That is now the correct shape for this hole. It's a lot bigger than I first anticipated, and it's a lot more square as well. Now, the inside of this can be fixed in a later step, but now we're going to get back to the detail. So first of all, you're going to come to this block here and go one, two, three, like that, and you're going to do this on the other three as well. Once you've done that, you're going to take your block of quartz like this and go one, two, three, four on the edges like that, and then fill it in all the way around like that, and fill in the middle block as well for now. You're then going to destroy these four like this, so you should end up with this shape, and put iron bars on the inside of each of those with sea lanterns on top. Once you've got this design, you're just going to fill in all of this space with light grey concrete. Now, because of the new roof layout, these need moving again. I'm really, really sorry. Roof designs are hard. But um, this just needs to be aligned with the middle block here. So just to check, you should be able to just really easily move these. Now, this may happen a couple of times in this tutorial, as this design, while quite small, is actually fairly complicated. Now, you're going to need black concrete, and you're going to place one black concrete on either one of these blocks here, and then you're going to place one, two, like that, and one, two, like that on the other side. Repeat this on that side as well. Once that's done, come to this side here, and you're going to go one, two, three, four, like that, and fill them in with black concrete. Do the same on this side, and finally, connect them up by going one, two, like that, on all four sides. That is your roof detail and design complete. However, we now need to come under here and tackle this bit, as this bit is looking a little bit strange from all the alterations we've had to make. So all you need to do is just punch until there's no more blocks, and in theory, you should get the initial circle we were hoping for. There we go, the inside of the roof is now completed. So just to check, if you punch any one of these blocks, you should have to fill them in. There should be nothing left to punch. Now the roof is done, we're going to be moving on to the final elements of this TARDIS, including the monitor and these blackstone pillars. So first of all, we're going to be building these pillars. So you're firstly going to need a polished blackstone slabs, and you're going to go one, two, three, like that. You're then going to get polished blackstone slabs again, and on the second block up, on the bottom, you're going to do the same pattern like that. Next up, with your slabs, you're going to turn these two into full blocks like that, and you're then going to get your polished blackstone block, and on top of this slab, you're just going to place a block like that. You're then going to place another block like that, and then finally, with your slabs, you're going to go all the way across the top like this. Still with your polished blackstone block, you're then going to place another one on top like that, then you're going to get your polished blackstone slabs and just go across the top again like this, and then finally, you're going to fill in one, two, three on the roof like that, which is why we left the holes. Finally, to finish this pillar off, you just need to place an extra blackstone slab underneath like that. This then needs to be replicated for this one, which I've already done as an example, this one and this one. Now, the reason I've done this one as an example is because it's obviously exactly the same as this one. However, when you come to these ones, you need to basically flip them. So this one, instead of going like that, will actually go like that. So it needs to face inwards with that one. The same goes for this one, so you'll lay it out like that. Copy that design onto this pillar and this pillar. Once you've got these four pillars in place, you then just need to do this one here and this one here. So first of all, what you're going to do with your polished blackstone is tower five blocks up to the roof like that. With polished blackstone slabs, you're then going to go one, two, three outwards like that, which is why the block under here didn't matter. And you're then going to repeat the same design for these ones, but straight. So you're going to go one, two, three with slabs again, make these ones into whole blocks. You're then going to place a block on top of there like that, another block on top of there like that, polished blackstone slabs across the entirety, and then finally, three polished blackstone slabs on top like that. You're then finally going to add your slab under there, and repeat it on that side as well. Once you've got these two pillars in place, you will notice that the TARDIS starts to get very dark. This is why I said earlier that there are more of these lights that we need to build, however, they'll make sense to place them later, and that's because we're going to place placing one either side of all of these six pillars. So for this, you're going to need your sea lanterns and your grey carpet, and you're just going to place a sea lantern there like that, underneath there, and then you're going to do the same on the other side and then place grey carpet on top of them like that. Repeat this for these four. Once you've got that in place on these four, you then need to do the same for these two, which is the ones where it really matters. So once you do this, it should end up looking a lot brighter. However, just to let you know, I'm playing with my brightness turned up to bright. If you're playing in the default, which is brightness at moody, this will look very different. 
just to let you know, this is your TARDIS with Moody, and this is what yours will probably look like if you haven't updated your settings, which is why I can recommend setting it to bright. So first of all, we're going to start with the monitor on the left hand side of the door, and in my inventory are all the blocks you'll need for this one. So we're going to start with our grey concrete, and you're first of all going to destroy this block and this block here, and replace it with the concrete. You're then going to do the same for this block and this block, you're then going to do the same on the other side, so you're going to do this one, this one, and this one like that, and then the two at the bottom to finish off our diamond like shape. You then need to destroy all of the bone blocks in this area. Once you've done that, destroy all the temporary blocks you've placed as well. And once you've done that, you should end up with something that looks like this. You're then going to need three different glasses. The light blue stained glass, the cyan stained glass, and the blue stained glass. First of all, you're going to come to this side. You're going to place light blue stained glass there, there, and there like that. With your cyan stained glass, you're then going to go like that in that middle block. You're then going to go one, two, three, four, five with your cyan stained glass like that. And then finally, you're going to go one cyan stained glass in the middle like that. You then need to get your blue stained glass. And finally, you're just going to fill in these three holes like that. This is the glass of your monitor complete. We now need to move outside of it just by punching a couple of holes like that. You need for this bit, sea lanterns, light blue concrete, cyan concrete, and blue concrete. And all you're going to do is just mix these blocks together everywhere there is visible glass. There we go, that's what I've done for mine. Now obviously yours will look very different, but then if you manage to get your way in, I like to do it just by punching a hole in the roof so that you don't have to destroy any other blocks. That's what your monitor should look like. That's the first of our monitors complete. We now need to make a new design for this side. So for the second monitor, all you need is gray concrete, gray stained glass, and end rods. Now to start with, we're just going to be doing the gray concrete outline that we did for this one. However, don't fill in any of the glass. Once you've done that, once again, you just need to take away all of these bone blocks here. And once again, you still need to take away your outside blocks. And then next up, we're going to be filling in the glass. However, apologies, I completely forgot it is light grey stained glass instead of grey stained glass. So you're going to do exactly the same thing as we did over there. You're just going to fill in all of this in with the glass. Once that's done, make sure you are on the outside. And what you need to do with your grey concrete once again is effectively create a box. So this box has quite a specific design. So first of all, you need to come to the block underneath your glass here with grey concrete and you need to go one, two, three, four, five, six like that. Next up, you need to come to this row. You need to go one, two, three, like that. And then finally, you need to come to this row here with the grey concrete in the middle. And you need to go one, two, three, four, five, out like that. After that, you need to raise all of this up by four blocks. Finally, when you get to the top, you're just going to finish it off by going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that. This is your basic box complete. You now need to come to the inside. So first of all, you need to tidy up any blocks where there aren't grey concrete. So just place a block here and a block here, and that should be it. You then need your end rods, and you're going to place them inside this box. So to start with, you need to come to this block here, right next to your glass, and you need to go one, two, three, like that. You then need to do the same on this side, so one, two, three. Finally, you need to come to this block in the middle here, and you're just going to go one, two, outwards with your end rods like that. Now, just before we're done, we need to cover up this block here and this block here. Now, it will be very hard to move around now. However, all you need to do is just punch your way out with the glass like this, and once you come out, it should look like this. This is both of your monitors complete, and now this is your entire roof TARDIS complete. So this is what it should look like once you've done that. This is your completed Ruth Doctor's TARDIS in vanilla Minecraft. So I really, really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And next up, I'm going to be speaking a bit about my design choices. So with my inspiration for this build, we're going to start with the exterior. Now, this one was a really hard one to design because I needed it to look classic. And that's actually surprisingly hard because they're a very different shape to the other boxes. So I use the images shown on screen now for inspiration, but I mainly use my other tutorials. And I ended up realizing it doesn't particularly matter what the shape is so long as it looks like a TARDIS. And I think I definitely achieved that. Now I use the lapis because the color of this one is actually quite distinct. And I also used glass on the top for my light, which is one I've never actually use and this one obviously doesn't actually emit any light however you can place a sea lantern on the block underneath if you wanted to the blue carpet on top was fairly obvious for me as it had a blue bit on top so i just chose this door because i quite like the texture obviously if i didn't need it to be functional i would have just gone like this is in my opinion it looks a lot better but i obviously needed to put the door in and then this was just created from the image shown on screen now and i just saw that it had a very distinctive free for use of public all in capital letters and the police telephone on top Moving to the interior, this is actually a different interior. This is the one I originally designed. It's got a couple of holes in from where I've had to quickly come in. But this is the one I used to actually design it. So if we come outside, 
you can clearly see I had a lot of trouble with my floor. This was a really, really, really hard one to design. I took absolutely ages. So at first I was using the Dalek mod TARDIS for inspiration, as it's the, really the only Roof Doctor's TARDIS in Minecraft I can actually find, or at least the only one that I could have a good look at. Now in the Dalek mod it was actually an octagon, so I started building it like this, but looking at some more concept images online I quickly discovered it's actually a hexagon. So I went to this design, and this was my sort of first good one. However, I quickly discovered using slabs was going to be a really big pain. You see, this bit of the floor is significantly up from this bit. There's a couple of slopes here. However, there's not enough grey slabs in my opinion, and there's nothing that could properly resemble this concrete texture. And I ended up going with andesite, but I quickly realised when I couldn't place the sea lanterns properly as well, this wasn't going to work. So next up, I moved to this one, and this is the one that most certainly resembles the current one. Now there's a couple of differences, which are the fact that I didn't use concrete in the middle, but this is mainly the one I stuck with. So this one, as you can see, is not a proper hexagon. I took a while fiddling with the shape and I got it quite wrong but this is what I basically use when coming to this one and then this is the final floor design and obviously it's now got a TARDIS all around it but you can basically see the resemblance I just added a couple of bits in here and there and this was my floor design complete now once again I use the Dalek mod for inspiration for this bit at the back and I would never have thought of using fences so I'm very glad I did now this will forever annoy me because you obviously can't place glass under there and in my opinion it looks really really good with slabs on top not stairs you obviously can put stairs if you want in your design that's where you can change it but I'll speak about more how you can change the design later so I really wish I could put glass under here but I'm never going to be able to so that's slightly annoying but I was really quite proud of this bit now moving on to the pillar design so full credit to Swood team for this one I completely stole their design however I made it out of blackstone as obviously they were using their modded concrete slabs to create this their black concrete slabs but I used blackstone and blackstone slabs instead as they're sort of the only black blocks and I think it came out really really well now, for me, the roof of this TARDIS was a pretty easy one to design, as I instantly saw that the colour looked a lot like grey concrete, and then it just had these black lines on it, which I thought I replicated quite well. I really struggled with lighting in this TARDIS, however, which is why I ended up just using a classic sea lantern with carpet on top. Now, I'll speak a bit about how you can change these up in a minute. Funnily for me, the monitors were not too bad. You see, I could instantly see the shape from a couple of images and the Dalek mod. However, I quickly noticed that even though they weren't quite shown in the show, there were actually two, and one of them really, really resembled having end rods inside of it, so I definitely wanted to use that. The placement of end rods was a little bit tricky, but I think I got it done quite well in the end. And then that leaves the walls of this TARDIS, and they were actually fairly hard. I was really, really nervous about doing these roundels, as this is sort of the whole reason why I didn't start with the first Doctor's TARDIS, I started with the ninth and 10th Doctor's TARDIS. It's because I really wasn't sure how to do the roundels. Now, I'll get to a couple of different designs in a second, but obviously the main problem with this one is that they're all equal. Now, if this was a proper TARDIS in the show, they would all be slightly different. So instead of having a complete one there, there'd be half a one like that and a half a one like that etc etc however I really like the texture of this and I think it came out really well so that then leaves how you can change up your version of this TARDIS and there's a couple of ones that really stood out to me when I was deciding which ones to put in the video so of course naturally we're going to start with the exterior now another block you can use instead of lapis which actually looks quite good for this one is light blue stained terracotta now it might look a bit ugly at first but when you do it to the whole thing I think it creates a really nice classic effect now the sign is another one you can change now I had this suggestion a couple of times while or before designing this TARDIS and that is to use an item frame with a map inside it and that actually creates a really nice effect now I didn't quite have the time to make one myself and I did have a little go at it but it wasn't very good at all but I'm sure some of you will be able to do that and then there's the windows now this one's a bit of an interesting one I have always in my TARDISes wanted to do something like this where I have that and these trapdoors are on the side instead now I've never worked out how to do that because you need a power source somewhere I just couldn't work out where to put it however However, if someone in the comments wants to tell me how I can do that, I would be very, very grateful indeed. Another thing you can obviously change, as you can in all of my TARDISes, is the light. Now, one that looks really good as well is just a classic sea lantern with carpet on top instead of the glass. That still works really well in my opinion, although for this one, I do prefer the glass. Now, finally, to end this video off, 
off, I'm just going to be showing you how you can change a couple of things in this interior. So straight away, one of the main things that you see is the walls, and a way you can change this is actually very, very clever. So once again, it involves item frames and maps, and basically what you do is you get an item frame with a map in it, and you create a circle on your map, and that means you can go into a lot of detail, but more importantly, you can also get half ones. So for example, you can place one there, but you can place one in the middle like that, and then another one there, and another one there, with the halves in the middle, and it creates a really, really, really nice effect. Although, a bit of a downside to this one, in my opinion, is it doesn't look great on corners, as they sort of have to overlap a little bit, and then you also have to back it with light blocks, and they can be quite expensive. Another one you can change is obviously the console design. Now, the reason I did this is because this feature is supposed to be a little bit of a distinct one with some classic TARDISes, which I'll show on screen now. However, the rest of it was sort of just me improvising, and I think it turned out really quite well. However, you can obviously put some different contraptions on here and some different bits in general. I mean, if you're someone like Tebow too, you can even make it fly. Now we're going to move on to how you can change the light sources. Now, like I explained just a second ago, these were really, really hard. However, something I quite like doing is with this grey, light grey concrete in the middle, sorry, you can just put a sea lantern underneath like that in all four of these, and it already lights it up a lot more. Another way you can do it, which I actually quite like, although it's very, very obvious, is you can replace all of the black concrete in this build with sea lanterns and black stained glass. Now, just as an example of what it would look like, I just replaced three here. Now, it's obviously a lot less black than this one, and I don't think the effect is quite as good, but it obviously creates a lot of light, and that can be very helpful when building. Then with these pillars, obviously, like I said, this completely came from the Dalek mod, so feel free to make it your own. But I can highly recommend using blackstone and blackstone slabs, or polished blackstone in this case, as it really creates a good effect. So that's pretty much all the ways you can change this TARDIS that I came up with for this video. If you'd like to see them, or you've changed it a bit, feel free to join my Discord server. There's a channel specifically in it where you can share creations you've made. But that's the end of this video. Dalek Mod Survival will return in my video next week. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like or comment. And if you'd like to see more content like this, then please subscribe. But I've been DT10 and I will see you in the next video.